Welcome back everybody, welcome if you are new, today we're in the Xfinity series, or B-Fix, however you want to call it here at Daytona. Uh, I didn't do a qualifying, I don't really care to do qualifying at Daytona or Talladega races like that, just to try to test my luck in the uh, race, because you can go from the back to the front, you can go from the front to the back, you can get wrecked out anywhere. Why does it have Justin Patella's name here? That's confusing, because he is the number one car. That's weird. I'm very confused by that. I don't know. I know I recognize him. He's up early because this is a nine o'clock net nine a.m. race. So I'm interested. I'm confused. Like I'm just confused why his name's in my car. <laughs> That's really weird because it shows me down here, obviously, but in the car it shows him. It's confusing as hell. Oh well, never seen that glitch before. But I haven't ran these cars in a long time where it has the name on the inside of the car. Should be interesting. Starting back in 16th, there's 24 people in this race. Should be a lot of fun. Waiting on everybody to join up. If you guys enjoy this kind of racing, hit that like and subscribe button. That way I know you guys enjoy watching this and my name switched in the car. <laughs> That's so funny. Why was that glitch happening? That's so weird. But yeah, this is going to be uh, probably hectic. And I wanted to run this early because I know the Xfinity Series race got rained out last night. Because it always does every year it's at Daytona. Because I live in Florida. I know it rains here all the damn time. I was betting that the NASCAR race is going to get rained out tonight as well. Would not be surprised by that. I literally made a bet with a guy at my work saying, uh, I bet the NASCAR race finishes not on Saturday. It will finish another day. Sunday or Monday, whichever day, whenever it wants to not rain. But we are car number seven out of this 24 car field. Not that worried about my I rating in this race. I'm just doing this for fun because super speeder racing is a lot of fun to me. Did a little bit of practice, like 10 minutes of practice before this. I literally just woke up like half an hour ago or something. Just jumped on, wanted to run this race this uh, today. And before the Xfinity race came up, they were running it at 12.30, I think. I think that's when they rescheduled it to today. And they didn't even get very far into their race last night. They really did not get far at all. But it started pouring there, which I'm not surprised by. But then they were showing the uh, 2001 Daytona uh, July race that Junior won. First Daytona race after Earnhardt passed. So that was cool to see. Haven't seen that race in a long time. It's always nice to go back and watch that. If you guys have ran this or any of the Daytona races uh, this week, let me know how you guys have done in them. Because it could be very up or down for sure got a radio there AJ <laughs> yep got a radio he has an accent uh, I'll let I don't you know, know I think I'm going to drop to the inside on the back stretch and let everybody go by yeah it's fine to do the same he sounds Australian to me but I can't be sure about that early. oh they're starting to record in a little bit Please, nobody wreck right here in the first lap. <laughs> can we can we go like the whole way green? I highly doubt it, but that'd be fun. Definitely know the inside lane is going to be the preferred lane for a while, and then later on in the race, people will go to the outside try to make it work. But these cars are a lot more racy okay. than the Cup cars are. You can get a lot more oh, draft and slingshot in these. Up. There is some people dropping to the back. I don't care to do that. If I'm in this race, it's only a 30 lap race. I'm staying up here the whole time. I'm not going to bank on a caution. There definitely probably will be. See how much movement here is. I'm pretty sure people can stay pretty steady. Like, it's pretty easy to stay steady at a super speedway. I'm going to test it, go to the outside, try to get as far up as I can up here. But the Xfinity cars are probably the most fun to me at super speedways, just because they get so much draft, and you can slingshot and everything so easily in these cars. Well, maybe not when everybody's in a line, but when there's only a couple of you guys, you got you can really make stuff work by yourself. 
and it's going to be interesting the cup race later on that they are running the 450 horsepower are you intending to run the late test together they said to try to make, like manage the flips but i don't think you could really help that at all regardless it's just going to keep them more bunched up and probably more chances to wreck them or the race is just going to take longer because they have a little less horsepower. Well, not a little. They probably have like 100 less horsepower than they did earlier in the year at this track. I think they ran 550 at Daytona and Talladega earlier in the year. Well, we're getting into the top 10, which is nice. This top lane is starting to roll now. It seems like the Xfinity Series, people are more willing to stay too wide. Cup and stuff, people get into one wide and everything too quick. It's not as fun. They are recording really bad on the front stretch through the trial there. Not even the trial, but like just the front. Just trying to watch everybody like wheeling back and forth, hopefully yeah, nobody hooks somebody else. Yeah. I would love to go three wide, but it's literally on lap four out of 30. There's no reason for that. You can definitely run three wide with these people here. I was thinking about dropping back here, but I'll stay up here for a little bit longer. I think the longer you stay up here, the more risk you're at, but it makes it more fun. The stop line is working pretty well. They just accordion a lot in the front stretch, which I don't like. Seven car is getting out of line, slowing us up a little. Yeah, I'm not one to like do the trail breaking thing when people start slowing up. I just let off the gas a little bit because I I will hit the brakes too hard if I try to trail break. I never do that. I just feel like I'll fuck myself over and then like the guy behind me will run me over because I hit the brake too hard. <laughs> Eight car decided to drop to the bottom, give them another another number. Second car laying on the bottom starting to get a little swirly. They really checked up there. This car in front of me was a three car. Yeah. He keeps getting to the inside of that seven and checking up a lot. I think they're staying a little higher than he wants to, and it's like messing up the lane. Thank you for not hitting me up there, checking up a bit. Yeah, he just said something about the checkup I couldn't quite understand. These cars are loud. But I do like being in the outside lane, because then like you kind of have somewhere to go, not too much because there's somebody on your inside. The inside, you really have like all the infield and stuff to miss a wreck. So you kind of are stuck if there is a wreck, which sucks. But I like being on the outside because I feel like you can make more moves getting forward. But if you're on the bottom, there's no way you can like advance your position down there. The outside, I can at least make it three wide and try to make some moves. We're staying right around like 9th, 10th right now. Like we're staying really even with the bottom lane for the most part. It seems like down the straightaway we kind of pull some on the bottom and then the corner they get it back. That's what it seems like so far. I feel like I haven't done a super speed race in a long ass time. I think the 24 car is that white car up there that is wiggling all around trying to push the guy in front of him. I think that's our second car in the lane. What is 24? Yeah, it is. Ooh, he's probably getting too hot, so that's probably what his problem is. I don't know why some of the paint schemes are loading so late. Oh, he's a 16 car. Okay, that was confusing. The back, I think he had a custom thing and it was like 24, and then his paint scheme just loaded and it was 16. Oh, I think just the paint schemes were really messing up because that had me as Justin Patello for a little bit in, before the race starts. So I think some of the paint schemes are really messed up right now. That's weird. I've never seen that happen before. It 
So that moved us up to fourth in this outside lane. But we lost the number there, so we are losing a little bit of ground. Second car on the bottom is pulling up in front. Oh, no, he stayed down. That was confusing. I thought he was pulling up in front of our lane, trying to be the leader of ours. Got a huge run down the back stretch here. I think uh, with the second car in our line getting out, really lost us a lot of uh, momentum, but then once the second car caught back up, the new second car, which I think is a seven, he got a really good push down the back stretch. You do gotta watch your oil and water temps, which I can't really see the oil temps in these cars as well, but I can see the line a little bit, but the water temps easy to see. Which I don't know which one you need to see more. I think the oil is the more important one, which sucks that it's on the bottom. But you'll still see the blinking red barely if you pay attention, but it's hard to pay attention to your tax while you're driving. Be in this type of thing. Be ready. I wonder how I wonder if everybody's still in the lead pack, like still somewhat on the lead pack, or if they've fallen way off or not. Because I know some people really backed off at the beginning. Doesn't look like there's too many people behind us. There's definitely some people off the pace, probably, with a, a draft partner or two. Which, with us, side by side, if there's like three people or four people lined up in a line, they could probably catch back up. Because we definitely slow each other down a little bit, I think, because of side draft and everything. Already on lap 11. You're freaking like white knuckling the steering wheel the whole time, though, in these. If you are the second car in line, if you pull out a little to like the right or the left, whichever way you can on whichever line you are, if you get like some air to your nose, it really will pull your car up to the car in front of you a lot more and then you can close back up behind them before you uh, hit them. And that you can get like right up to somebody's bumper like that. If you struggle trying to get to the bumper or somebody, but I'm not trying to get to the bumper of the three because he is third in line and you don't want to push somebody that's pushing somebody that's pushing somebody. <laughs> You don't even want to push the uh, oh, that seven car, I think that is up there, the uh, Exalta. I don't even think you'd want to push him because he's pushing somebody. You just want to stay close to him. Appreciate that, buddy. Just gave me a fucking black flag. Oh. Why would you hit me? He probably got pushed below the yellow or something is what happened. Or he might have gotten pushed and pushed into the pit lane. Something. He might have gotten turned into the pit lane. Gotta fit in, guys. That sucks for him. 23 pit lane. I know he dropped back at one point. I don't know where he's at. I think he's still somewhere back there. People are getting more and more twitchy at this point, it seems like. Even I, I, I could feel I'm getting more twitchy just because, like, you get impatient. Definitely starting to fall back from the bottom lane now. Yeah, I figured the guy behind me and stuff was gonna drop low. That's all right. We're still running like top ten area, so I'm okay with this. Still, like we're still in the lead draft, which is the main thing. You just want to stay in the lead draft. Fuck a minute of fucking penalty, Jesus Christ! A minute penalty, Jesus Christ! That's crazy. I, I don't know if he got passed below the yellow or. What happened? Pit lane. Well, that number eight was coming up, and he bumped into my uh, right side a little bit. Zero X, and the guy behind me hit me, and I came down. Uh, you know, on pit road X up ah, there. Yep. I got a black flag. Unsafe pit entrance, or something like that, is what it would be. But I didn't know that was a minute penalty. Goddamn. Go through the eight, make it a grab from the back. That sucks. Of the place. That definitely sucks. No, I'll probably get the lap back. There's no way with the eight and the nine. You don't, I don't think he went a lap down. I don't. I don't remember seeing anybody yet. Honestly, I'm surprised there hasn't been. But he'll probably already. get lapped if he's still if he's out there by himself at this point. Oh wait, no, he definitely went a lap down. If it's a minute penalty too. So yeah, never mind. He definitely would be a lap down. Depending on where he comes out, he might go two laps down. We only got like 
six cars up here right now. But second in our line is starting to get more squirrely. His, his engine's probably getting hot too, so it makes it hard to push at that point also, because you don't want to blow up. And if somebody blows up in the light in your line, then that oh he's third in line now, okay. I think the car pulled up in front of him and I didn't see that. So we have a newer pressure engine, I guess, because he he wasn't pushing any line. He's been in, that guy's been in line on the bottom, I think. But he hasn't been pushing, so his oil and water temps are probably fine. Seems to be getting a good push up front again. I guess they did get a one X many turn. Yeah, if he got pushed through the grass and went through the pit, pit exit, then yeah, he probably got a 1x as well. Which makes sense, just going through the grass 1x, not that bad, but the penalty really sucks. But if there is a caution, he will be the lucky dog. So he definitely needs that. <laughs> Look at the tiniest number on the time car, that's funny. Like, just the uh, font of that number is hilarious to me. It's just so small in the car. Oh yeah, uh, Kurt Busch got announced as Bubba Wallace's teammate for next year in the 45 car, which is interesting. And I believe that they announced with that car that the numbers are going to be moved forward, which looked kind of weird to me. It'll, be, it'll definitely take some getting used to. I like the number in the middle like they always have been. Or like how they've been for the longest time now, I should say, because way far back in the day. Okay, 8 car wants to go 3 wide for some reason. And they're wrecking. Good job, A car. That was that was beautiful. Is he behind me? There's one of my cautions. Oh, maybe he's multiple laps down. I'm happy I didn't get hooked by that. Car, you're a fucking idiot. They wrote I know the 13 racing like DW in real life. I know the A car went three wide on me for no reason, so I just moved up. And then all of a sudden they fell off real quick. I have no clue what happened there. Sorry, sorry. That's completely unfathered. I was trying to push up to close up the gap. Now, we're going to have like a little less than 10 lap shootout. How did that even happen? Y'all were doing so good. People are going to go crazy. That's all right. Shit happens. I want to chime three in, wide. but... Got that. Yeah, I don't know why he made it three wide. That was kind of unnecessary in my opinion. Yeah, that damage, I think, five. He's a little crinkle, but not good. But, uh... We do have a set of tires. I don't believe anybody's gonna come down and Sample. take tires. I don't think there's a need to. So, we're these laps are gonna take a few minutes because uh, caution laps at Daytona take a while. So, I will pick it back up and we're getting ready to go green. All right, uh, this is gonna be an interesting finish. Apparently, the uh, 13 hooked the uh, eight. That's what they were talking about that the entire time no, I didn't under caution. I don't know what the hell happened. I have to go back and look. I just know he made it three wide on me all of a sudden, and then they started wrecking, which I have no clue what the hell happened under me. I'm just happy I didn't get hooked by the four. I think they got turned. Hey, Mike, this whole time we're ragging on you. You didn't say anything. Good luck, everyone. Got to make sure I'm back in second gear before we go. Yeah, I'll just let you guys watch the replays at the end of the race. What's the point? We're starting on the inside line, which is a little bit unfortunate, a bit but we'll do the best we can. Started in ninth on this restart. I'd like to get to the outside, that'd be great. But I would rather be up there, just because you can make moves up there. But also, if there's a wreck, which I figure there will be at this point, because people are going to start going crazy. Okay, second car in our bottom line is going crazy, it looks like. I would not be surprised if the front guy on our bottom lane gets hooked. Just with how erratic that was. Oh god, they're already going three wide. Don't wreck. Okay, they, they let it in. Three car let the 14 back in. I thought they were going three wide right there on the first lap of this restart. Go there. Try to get the best finish we can out of this. Started 16. Worked our way up to the top 10. Because some people drop back and everything. But just running consistent. Right around 10th the whole time. would like to get a top 5 finish. That'd be great. I think it's possible. Definitely possible. To try to win this thing, that'd be really tough. They had a huge check up there on the back stretch. Don't know what happened. They just jolted inside all of a sudden. I am clear high. I don't want to go up there too.
don't know. I'm so indecisive sometimes. I'm just gonna stay down here for now. That top lane, I think, got a good enough push. The front guy went to the bottom. Or if somebody jumped out into, into that Dang front it, lane. Go low, do something. I'm about to blow. Oh, just about to blow? Yikes. I think the front car up there was about to clear, and they didn't take it. We got outside lane getting very jumbled up. We're going to be three wide and stuff in this corner. It seems like is the 19 has the 14 on the outside of him. Go ahead, hit the apron. Don't do that. I let up too much, and I was just trying to give room. We're three wide. You can make it work three wide here. It's not that difficult. You can get some good racing. Get a huge run back up here. I think the 19 and 3 switched spots. I think the uh, 19 was the one that was in front of that lane and they did the old switcheroo. I'm surprised they didn't lose more ground with uh, the way that looked. I thought the outside was going to lose a lot more ground there. The 14 got kind of screwed out of it. I think it was the 14. Because he got shuffled all the way to the back. Yeah, that, yeah I think it was the 14, I want to say. Yeah, that or the 5 on the outside of me now. I, I don't know. I just know it was a white car. I just peeked out here to see what the leaders are doing out there. Yeah, 23 needs another caution to get back on the lead lap. So he's hoping there's a wreck. Oh, don't hit the apron on the uh, front stretch. Through that uh, turn on the front stretch, that will turn you. Sometimes. Yeah, when you're on the bottom, you really got to be a lot more steady than on the top. Because you don't want to drift up a little bit, hook somebody. They are checking up a bunch. The bottom lane gets such a check up on down the back stretch, it seems like, which is killing our momentum. Like, we, it seems like we have so much speed coming off of two. Where's that number eight car when I need them the most now? <laughs> <laughs> They're making so much fun of that eight, but the eight got hooked, he said, so I'll have to go back and see what the hell happened. Need to get one more lap back. I'm waiting for the wreck, man. I am waiting for it. I'm on edge, looking all around. I just don't want to be a part of it, try to survive it. We got five laps left. We're probably going to have a check up here. Oh no, we didn't have as much of a check up as we had the last couple laps. I apologize, Kevin. Did a little bit towards the end of the straightaway. I don't do respect. Seemed like our check up was a lot right off of two. That time it was more towards three. I'm staying a little bit more off the 12 than I need to be. I could probably run a little closer him, but I just don't want to hit him on that checkup. It all depends on who you're racing with. I think I'm the fifth car in line down here, I want to say. Yeah, I'm the fifth car in line. So it accordingly is really bad back here. I got bumped out, it's really to me that this was not a three-wide track with who we're racing with today. It definitely can be a three-wide track. You would just hold their damn line. It could be a three-wide track, for sure. Not too difficult. Like, Talladega is much easier at that. It's a lot wider. But you can definitely make it work. It's going to be a crazy finish, I, I assume. And with the bottom lane not able to go anywhere, people on the outside might try to get crazy, and we might be able to gain some spots because of that, because they might try to jump outside. And we have a lap car up here. Oh, no. That could be bad news. That could cause the caution with a lap car up here. If they stay low, that would be very bad. Hey, lap car, can you go to the apron, please? I'm yeah, that'd be, that'd be amazing. They can go to the apron down the back oh, stretch. Stay high. Oh, yeah, stay high, please. Oh, nope, he went low. Cool, awesome. He's going to go through the grass. Hopefully he doesn't come back up and hit anybody. I saw him blink out as soon as he hit the grass. I don't know if he hit the incident limit or not. I'd be surprised if he did, because you have to hit a lot of incidents already. There's only one rack. That car went down to the grass, and then he got high. Oh, third, third in line, hit that apron, and about turned him. I, I thought that was going to be the wreck. 
basketball car drift up a little bit. No harm, no foul. Here you go, guys. Keep that wiggling up there. Come on. There's gonna be a wreck. I don't. I don't doubt it. Oh, we're gonna get three wide. Five and nine. Oh, here comes the eight as well. The eight loves going three wide. There it is. Still there, you got still there. Still there, guys. Still there. Three wide, you're in the middle. Three wide, guys. Three wide in the middle. Oh, that's hilarious. White flag. I bet you don't get laid. All right, so there's been no cautions for that last restart. Now all hell, all hell is gonna break loose. Now, if it already has it, we're already three wide. People are hitting the apron. Oh god, this is gonna be really bad. Oh, I got bumped. I got bumped by the five barely. Luckily, that didn't turn me. I thought that was gonna turn me. That was scary. Oh, don't wreck, don't wreck, don't wreck. Oh, they're wrecking behind me. Yeah, let's go. It happened behind me. Awesome. I'm not gonna be able to get any spots out of this, it looks like. Never gonna work. Oh, maybe. Shit, where'd we finish? We got no X's. I'm happy about that. Sixth, I'll take it. Let's go. Three car won it. Uh, nice win. I'll take sixth. Everybody was wrecking across the line. I'm happy I was uh, in that outside lane there at the end. I didn't wreck. I'm happy about that. Let's go. <laughs> Everybody wrecked behind me off the turn four or going into turn three. And then everybody wrecked on the front stretch and luckily I wasn't a part of it. Uh, tragic thing is, everybody was so close there. <laughs> that was crazy. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get any more spots out of that, but I, I don't think I really did. Maybe only on the two. Yeah, I think the two car is the only one I got there at the end from everybody wrecking. That's awesome. I'll take six. That was awesome. Great finish. Three car got a good win. He just stayed on the outside. Everybody else pulled each other down to the bottom. I'll take that. I'll take a clean Daytona race. That's lucky, <laughs> to say the least. With everybody wrecking around me, I need to go back and see what happened on that last lap because everyone was wrecking there right at the end. Just go back to the last lap. You can see that happen. What the hell happened? I know with the eight car, I know the eight car wrecked. What the hell happened? We were three wide. I was just trying to hold the bottom. I think I got clipped by the five here, barely. Oh yeah, the 21 started pushing him down a little bit. Barely got like net coated clipped, just barely. And it about turned me. Still three wide. I'm watching it on the eight car because I know he's going to end up in this wreck. But what happened? Oh, five car came up. Okay, a little bit. Five car wiggled going into the corner. And that kind of started it all. Because uh, five car goes up a little bit. It kind of net codes him, or does it? No, he just kind of gets... Uh, he's just following the three. Gets up into the 21 barely, because he had a little bit more room down. It hits the 19. They all start getting collected behind me. I thought I was going to get hooked into the outside wall. I somehow missed this. I got lucky as hell with all this. 13 hitting the apron and then gets clipped by the eight. That's unfortunate for sure. But yeah, this this wreck was a, a pretty big one altogether. That was a pretty big wreck. Damn, 21 got flipped. That sucks. And then let's go back up to the front where everybody else starts wrecking. What happens? 12 car goes all the way down to the yellow line. Oh, they started it up at the front. Okay, the 11 car looks like starts it. Oh no, the one, which is Justin, I think, tried making it three wide. Not quite the room. Hooks the 11, brings them down into all of them down there. Two cars got the slowest out of it, which sucks. Was he in the front? Yeah, he was first coming off of turn four, and he ended up finishing behind me because he got spun so much. But at the line, three car gets it, and then where is everybody else in this? Like, going across the line. Like, just... 11 gets pushed to second, right? Yeah, 11 gets pushed second, the one car, then the 12, then me. Just barely behind. Damn. I'll take six, though. That's nice. I'll take that. And then beat the two to the line. So, that that's a crazy finish line altogether. I don't think any of them got black flags for passing below the yellow. The 12? No. 
I know the 12 was way below the yellow to start with, but I thought he started when I saw him go down there, but that was uh, interesting to see. Let's go back to the eight and what happened on that lap where those cautions were. Because what the hell happened? I think it might have actually been next lap. Yeah, it's probably on this lap on the back stretch. Because I was just kind of riding. We still are only on lap 17 right now. I was just riding here, not trying to push too hard because they kept checking up a lot on the outside as well. The bottom was worse towards the, the end with the checkups. He goes three wide. Oh yeah, 13 just came back up, hooked him. Like, I don't think the 13 was ready for him to go three wide because he was kind of a little bit higher, but he had plenty of room. 13 overreacts a little bit. Goes down, and I don't know if he just lost his car or it started to come back up. Hang on, let me go into his cockpit and see what the hell he did with his uh, steering wheel. Because, uh, right, I'm looking at my right screen to see. All right, he goes three wide there. He overreacts, then just starts coming back up the track. Like, he didn't lose it or anything. He just hooks the eight, which is really unfortunate for the eight altogether. And then, really, for the four. The four got the worst of it. Did everybody else miss this? Five car going through the grass. Flips the eight, barely. Anybody else hit the four? Oh, 20 car looks like did. Or he got on the brakes. Oh no, he hit his uh, back left. 17 gets a little bit part of it, it looks like. Nine car just ran to the four after he was slowing down. So that was unfortunate for those people involved, for sure. I'm happy I was lucky, luckily able to miss that, just barely. Like, how close was that? On my bumper because i know that four car was super close to getting hooked into my right into my bumper luckily i was all the way out by the wall because we were three wide if i wasn't all the way out by the wall and i was right here i probably would have gotten hooked so yeah it wasn't as close as it looked but it was quick in my mirror i thought i was i thought i was gone but hey luckily we missed all the wrecks on the last lap as well that was a crazy finish. I'll take sixth place. That's awesome. We're definitely gaining a little bit of eye rate and actually some safety because we got no X's. All we had is a couple contacts with uh, people tapping each other like down the straightaway, which is fine, like just bump drafting. But I'll take sixth place finish here at uh, Daytona, testing our luck. It went pretty well. So let's go see what we end up getting out of this. All right, results in strength of field is 3,100, but strength of field at Daytona means nothing. How many splits were there? Four different splits, and there was 24 people on our split, so that was a lot of people that registered for this race, but that was uh, very interesting. Most people ended up with a 4X hand. Was I the only one that had no Xs? Oh, there was one guy. Oh, he didn't even race. Okay. I'm literally the only one that had no Xs that actually raced the race. I had no, I had zero X. Up here, all had four, probably from the very uh, finish right there. I don't know how the three got a 4X. Maybe... He like bumped the one like Justin right before he got into the 11 and it caused all that like not the three didn't cause it obviously the one went three wide I don't know how the three got a four X I'm confused by that to be honest he must have barely tapped somebody before that wreck and it just like accumulates all the wrecks and whoever barely gets a zero X out of it gets a four X too so that was uh, very interesting I'm the only one with a zero X though the 23 ended up with a one X from getting punted through the uh, infield into the grass which is unfortunate for him that's why he's still a lap down he got one of them back with the with the caution but he wasn't able to get his second one back but I'm uh, happy I was the only one with the zero X. That's awesome. Uh, I was probably the only one that gained safety as well. Yes, I am. That's hilarious. That is so funny. Well, he didn't lose any also because he was at 499, but probably would have lost some if he wasn't at 499 for so long. But we gained a little bit of safety. I'll take that. Gained 41 I rating, which is awesome, over 3,700, which I think is still our highest ever. I'm slowly building it up on the oval side, trying to get the 4K on both oval and dirt, which would be awesome. I'm getting close. This is the closest I've been so far because I'm at like 41 something on the dirt side. I think 41, 41 or something like that. Like weird. And I've dropped a lot there recently. I've lost like 150 there in the last like few races, which has sucked. But uh, still trying to get the 4K on both sides, which would be awesome to see. But I'm happy we were able to get a good finish. Starting 16th, I never qualify these just to try to test our luck. And I know you can get from the front to the back or back to the front pretty easily and it's just all about luck that this this race is all about luck all the time so like the two car was in first coming off of turn four and he ended up in the back of our field because he was the slowest spinning through the grass 
So that's unfortunate for him. And he still gained some eye rating. So that was a lot of fun. Justin's over uh, 5K. Nice. He's probably been over 5K before, I assume. But awesome to see him over 5K. So that's awesome. Love to see it. They told us a ton of fun. Go try it if you haven't. Uh, the Xfinity race is later today at 1230. And you can, this will probably get put up right at 12, right before the race. So you guys might be able to see most of this, if not the whole thing, right before the uh, Xfinity race starts. And if you guys watch it right when I put it up. And then uh cup race tonight at seven i believe but i'm assuming it'll probably get rained out until sunday like the xfinity race did because it rains every time they come to daytona it rains a lot in florida i live here it does this in the afternoon nighttime it rains a lot uh, around this time of year so it just happens i don't know it's just the way the weather works here it's weird but uh i went to the daytona race two years ago the last july race it got rained out saturday came back sunday they ran a little bit more than half it rained out justin haley won it <laughs> like it was just weird it, it was a weird time it, but they always gets rained out in daytona like every time even the 500 sometimes gets rained out into the next day so it's just bad timing a lot for nascar so appreciate you guys for watching as always hopefully you guys enjoyed the race let me know how your guys races have gone this week and hope you guys enjoyed the xfinity and cup race later on and i'll catch you guys in the next race